Just tell me when we're ready. We're going? Okay, good. All right, hi, everyone. Um, if everyone could just sit down and stop applauding, that'd be great. Um, so the, 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 uh, this session is talking about the Engineering Review Board um, that we conduct every second week in Lenaro. And I guess the question is, why, why do we do this? Um, it's a, sort of a, a casual session to um, get in sync so that groups can get in sync with other groups and to communicate, to communicate what's going on, if there are any blockers, if there are any issues with, um, with their development that need uh, external action or if anybody can help with, with ideas. So on, in Lenaro we use JIRA, that's our project management tool. I think uh, many people use it, I know ARM uses it as well. Uh, and it's quite ubiquitous throughout, uh, throughout the industry. So all our engineering data is, is contained in JIRA and we collect it from there. So um, the meeting is run on, on the data that's, that's extracted from uh, JIRA. And just a very quick uh, primer on JIRA, uh, in the individual units, work units are called cards. Um, or issues and um, we have this hierarchy that starts at the initiative level which is um, strategic and uh, that feeds into an epic level which is a JIRA term and then stories which is uh, again an agile term and uh, subtasks underneath it and I'll, I'll explain a little bit more about that later. Um, the ERB is concerned on the epic level which is the tactical level. This is the, the level at which the um, work is being done and explained in a, in a technical way. So what are we looking for in, uh, in the review? We're looking for any changes um, in, in um, definition, if there are any scope changes, if there are changes to the schedule that we might need to know about. Um, we need to know dependencies. If a piece of work is dependent on another piece of work, um, and the, the secondary piece of work isn't, uh, isn't progressing, we need to know about that. And it, uh, uh, additionally, if the second piece of work is owned by another team, there needs to be some sort of communication there so that uh, we can get aligned, so that the teams can get aligned. And uh, finally, blockages. And uh, we all know about the evils of blockages. Again, if it's an external blockage, um, we have to know about it and we have to figure out uh, how to mitigate that, if at all possible. So here are the, here's the hierarchy that we're using in JIRA uh, in, in Lenaro, and there's this black line. That, that black line demarcates uh, the strategic from the tactical. On the upper, side, on the upper part of this, uh, this slide, we have uh, what, what we've termed lead projects or any other type of projects. Um, and the uh, JIRA portion starts at the initiatives level. Initiative is not uh, necessarily a native uh, JIRA issue type, but it's something that's recognized through the industry. And it's this very high level um, type of uh, description. And in effect, what it is, it charters the work. It's, it's, the, uh, it's the authority to go ahead with, uh, with whatever work that we're doing. Initiatives then, can be broken down into epics, and that's below that black line. The epics are what describe the technical details on how to build your initiative or, or your project. And then underneath we have stories and subtasks. The ERB coverage, coverage is tactical, and it really focuses on epics, but if anything interesting is happening in stories, um, it'll, have, it'll, it'll uh, co cover those as well. Typically, the work bubbles up into the epics and that's why we're looking at that level specifically. So how do we get the, how do we get the, uh, the data? What's the data f coming from? Um, JIRA is pretty good at displaying reports. There's something called JQL, which is JIRA query language. Uh, you can get a lot of information from that. Sometimes, especially with historical data, it falls a little bit short. So uh, Sergey Broslavsky was good enough to write a nice little script that uh, takes the, looks at the history of all the current um, JIRA cards or issues and displays them uh, and, and 
brings them out into a list that can be imported into a, a spreadsheet of the changes, and it'll iterate some of the changes. And I'll show you very quickly uh, later on what the spreadsheets look like. The spreadsheets can be ac can be accessed through uh, um, the uh, Linaro uh, document uh, system as well, the Google Docs. Uh, and two simpler queries are also used. One, and this is just pure JQL, it's very easy to find out blockers because we have a state called blocked. If there's an issue that is in blocked, it'll be, uh, it'll, be, it'll be there. And dependency, the, uh, the, the query, or the, the query will go through what's called a dependency link. JIRA issues have uh, the function to link to other issues, and if a, that link is of type dependency, it'll show up on that screen. So the, we come to the ERB spreadsheet, and this, will, this is what is presented in the ERB meeting. Um, the, the three queries will generate a tab each. So the first, the first script that Sergey had, uh, had written uh, will generate the changes tab. Then uh, the blockers and dependency tabs will follow on that. So every second week we'll, we'll do that. We'll go through there. On the spreadsheet there is a column. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show it a little bit uh, in the next slide. But there's a column called discuss and it has a yes or no. What's nice about the spreadsheet is if you click yes to discuss the row, which would be contain the JIRA um, issue, um, uh, issue data um, details, it'll highlight it in, uh, in green. If you click it to no, it'll gray it out. So you can see it, but it, you'll know that it's not important. And the clicking the yes or no is at the discretion of the project managers and the directors. If they, need, if they feel that they need to discuss this, um, that's what they'll do. They'll, they'll either click yes or no, depending on their need. I'm not sure if you can see it because it's a little small, but this is an example of, of one of the change of the change tab in the ERB spreadsheet. To the right of the screen on column I, you'll see that discuss column I, I was just mentioning. Uh, if you click yes, there's uh, row 40 is clicked yes. So it highlights in, in green, and we come to the meeting and very quickly, very easily, we'll be able to see. Yes, we need to discuss this one specifically. What's nice about the script coming into the spreadsheet is column H. You'll see the very first row, which is row 38, the change is there. And on the 15th of February, the resolution was changed from uh, to none, um, and the status to reopened. And then it was closed and delivered on the same day. And so all of those type of changes that aren't, aren't readily available within the other um, details of the, of the card are, are um, collected in that changes column. It's pretty nice. So after all this happens, after the, the spreadsheet is generated, uh, the project managers go through the spreadsheet and click the discuss column, yes or no. We come to the ERB meeting every second week. And this is where we discuss the, discuss the issues if we need to. What's really important are the three points uh, following on this slide, what it is and what it is not. So it's not an approval mechanism. We've decided to not have approvals at this, le at this level. Um, we had sort of toyed with doing it for a, a few, uh, few months uh, a couple of years ago, and what we found was that this is just, this, approval at this level is a gate, and it would gate development um, just to a degree where almost nothing happened. So this is really a very informal, casual way of getting the ideas and the, the, any problems that is, that's happening with the current development out in the open. Um, so that's basically what the first two points um, first two points are, are talking about. The last, the last point is that it doesn't really have anything to do with the TSC or SC meetings. As I said before, it focuses on the tactical stuff. The, the steering committee is more on the strategic side um, and uh, approving what needs, what the, the overall work that needs to be done to go ahead. And the, the, um, the attendees of the meeting are, are the engineering directors, um, PMO, um, the engineering program director, uh, project managers, and uh, the um, 
EVP and VP of engineering. It's about last, it's, it, depending on the number of items discussed, it can be anywhere between 15 minutes and 30 minutes, which is nice because we used to spend over an hour at least every single week discussing these things and, and it was just pedantic sometimes, just discussion for the sake of discussion. So that's really it. There's not too, too much um, going on in that. Um, I'll, I'll open the floor for questions, but I, I did have one question myself was that based on what you saw, is there anything in the, in the ERB and the, and the review process that, uh, that's missing? Is there something that, that could be there that would help facilitate this communication between the teams? I'll leave that out there if anybody uh, wants to answer it eventually. Right. Um, so that's a really good point. We've discussed that before. So there needs to be a way to figure out how long this thing has been in blocked. That's, that's on, certainly on our list to do. I think we even have a, an item in, in JIRA to, to address that, right, Emma? Yeah. That's, that's a, great, a great question. Other than that, any other questions? Any um, comment? Yes. I'm sorry, I'm getting noise from the background. I can't hear what you're saying. Oh, I see. So, yeah, the question is, is there a duplication to the automation in from Anoop's uh, presentation that was previous to this. And um, they're related, but they're not duplicate. They're, they're not duplicates. The purpose of the, this process is, in fact, to, to inform. So what we can do, what happens is the data that is generated from here, and even that's a good suggestion, the data that, that is generated from Anoop's and, uh, and AMRO's um, efforts can be funneled into this, uh, to this process. But the, the, uh, this, is, this is more of a communicative uh, tool rather than uh, a report generating tool. So you generate the reports and then you need to explain it, you need to talk about it in some way. And based on Lenaro's business model where everybody, uh, many people are distributed around the world in, in different locations, we needed a, a, a fairly uh, robust way of, of doing this. And to date, this is, this is one of the better ways we've found. Now, I'm sure we can improve on it, but uh, we, uh, and we're, continu we're continuing to finesse it as much as possible. Great, thanks. Right. Yeah, Anoop was saying this is the, the one time where all the proper stakeholders are in the same place at, at the same time. So. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>